It's 10 below out, so I thought I'd um, try to make a video about carburetors for producer gas. Um, the idea is pretty simple. You have a, a T, and probably you wouldn't want to use this T, but you, you're feeding the engine here, and um, you're bringing gas in, your fuel, one end, and the other end is your um, air. And usually you'll have a throttle at the engine side, throttle valve, and <clears throat> a valve for the air to adjust the air mixture. Um, on the, this is a stock gasoline carburetor off a um, Honda Clone 6.5 horsepower. It's, well, it's missing the um, throttle link, butterfly linkage. Um, so what a lot of people will do is, um, of course, it will be on the engine side here. And then um, they'll put a, a T for the um, air inlet. And at one end, they'll have the air coming in. And at the other end of the T, the gas coming in. So they can use their um, regular throttle for the governor to adjust the, the throttle valve. But then you add a, um, a mixture control valve on the air intake. And that works good you know you retain your gasoline if you actually want to have gasoline um, you want to have a uh, air filter ex a different air filter to uh, filter your air intake um, one one of the disadvantages is, is they're kind of choked down so your volumetric efficiency might be a little lower and you have to have another air cleaner and of course more valves in a T so I, I built a carburetor it's basically the same idea. Um, I had a valve for the engine, the throttle, and the, um, oops, I think the air, the air was this side and it had a, uh, another valve to adjust the mixture and the gas came in there. I think I had the most power with this because it had the largest inside diameter. Uh, but scientifically, you know, it would have to be measured scientifically, and there's just not any time for that. But it did seem to have good power. So once again, we have a T arrangement. But I was looking at um, a stock gasoline carburetor, and there's really no use for them now. They're obsolete now that you have producer gas. And it's a lot of work to build a carb. So I thought, well, you know, this does look like a T. You got... Um, an inlet here and an inlet there and you got this part but boy you, you can't get um, if you could just get gas through there so I came up with the idea of um, basically taking this apart and drilling some holes in here taking all the junk out you don't need and then drilling holes into this um, passage here so the the gas producer gas can come up here and then get mixed with the air. And you can use the choke valve for your air mixture to fine tune it, in addition to the number of holes you drill into the carb. So, well, I use a, um, like a plastic bottle to uh, make an adapter for the uh, gas inlet, and then I grind down the threads on the uh, that on the um, oh, plastic bottle. And of course, your um, flexible plastic tubing fits just right. It's like perfect. This is a um, sub pump plastic tubing. So you can see the holes I drilled. And then I used silicon or RTV to glue the, um, the bottle onto the um, float ball. Then um, I drilled some holes. I don't know if, how well you can see them. I also drilled holes in this um, oh, part stem that holds your um, float ball on. And I also removed the uh, jet 
and took a drill bit and you I put some tape or heat shrinks a good idea shrink that down to protect the threads for when you're drilling into the um, throat of the carburetor and you can ad adjust um, get a rough adjustment by the number of holes you drill in different locations. Um, so, let's see, these uh, butterflies for the throttle and choke you can buy for less than two dollars if you so desire. I also took this one out, the uh, throttle butterfly, and took a Dremel inside and bored out the Venturi so there's, it's, it's a larger hole, hopefully with um, higher um, volumetric efficiency. I could also bore this out bigger diameter because the engine intake is a larger diameter, but then I'd have to replace this um, butterfly with a little bit larger one. Might be a possibility, and it might, might really want to try its stock. It'd be nice to try its stock diameter and scientifically measure if you do get a, a um, power increase. But that works real nice because now I can keep my original air filter and it's very compact. So I get to keep the um, air filter compact. I get to use my carburetor. I don't have to build a carburetor. And that, that saves. That's like recycling. And there's no need for a gasoline carburetor. Um, one of the things is that normally the um, choke is real doesn't have much friction so it would move around when you're running it unless it's like wide open in a normal detent. When I was trying to remove this one to, to be able to bore out more of that material I kind of bend it up. I realized you can't remove these you'd have to break it and replace it. So that gave me some friction that I don't need to um, create any friction it stays put. If you didn't do that which I normally wouldn't now you might be able to put a piece of hose, rubber hose, and sandwich it in between this um, button and the air filter housing. Or I was going to saw this um, gasoline switch valve off, but I thought, well, it has lots of friction. So if I have to, I could have like a piece of tin on both sides bolted here to help hold my mixture control and use that to give friction to the mixture control. Oh, uh, let's see. Use the air filter. Oh. Um, to adapt different size pipes to your um, oh, um, flexible tubing, I found that inner tube, little pieces of a bicycle inner tube work really great. You can put two or three of them on the outside of a pipe to build it up to the right diameter as needed. Um, I think that's it. Thanks for watching.